sometimes in order to complete a design people want to cut a slightly more complex shape out of the center of a simple shape similar to what's shown in the example in the upper left on our mat if you want to cut a circle out of another circle then you simply put one circle inside the other and cut an example like what we see in the lower right hand corner which will result in one circle butted up against another circle cutting in two pieces if you want to cut out something with a border removed similar to what is shown here however then you need one more circle you need a circle for the outer border and you need a smaller circle for the inner border by simply aligning a smaller circle properly in the center of the larger circles you now have three cut lines and when each of these three lines cut you wind up with three solid pieces you can remove the center piece as scrap and have the resulting image like shown here. If all you want to do is cut out two solid pieces of material like this, this is all you need to do. You're good to go. If you want this outer circle to be an independent transparent shape, however, so that you can fill just the area between these two lines with content and not have it span the entire outer circle, then there is an additional step. In order to do that, we must cut the larger center circle, the outside of the white area, from the larger circle. We do that by simply selecting that middle circle like I've just done, also selecting the outer circle, and doing an object, modify, subtract. It doesn't look like anything has happened, but we have actually cut the center out of this larger circle I will show you what happened. So now that larger circle is not a background piece. It is a new shape all its own with the center cut out. Once you have done this, you can use other tools to fill this area with whatever you want and it stops at a hard stop on this inside circle and doesn't span the entire piece. You've created, let's say, a donut instead of simply having a large circle behind a smaller circle. I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps. If you have any questions about this technique or anything else that you're trying to do with your Silhouette Studio software, please don't hesitate to contact YouTube at ScrapConcepts.com and we will do our best to help.